Welcome to Pisces Vision. This is a reading for Pisces in all placements. This is a general reading, so it would not resonate with all. Take what resonates with you and do away with the rest. Spirit, you are welcome here to do as you please. While you're here, please give us protection, guidance, and clear, accurate messages. We know there's no time or gender in tarot. Thank you, Spirit. Hello, Pisces. I hope all is well with you. I have a lot of channeled messages, okay? I was getting that this is a continuation from the last video that I made about hidden knowledge. Um, this, that was the first part. It was about sinking and rising, lining up the body. This is the second part. It's about balancing the body, okay? I have the angel number 1222, and then I have Sherlock Holmes, the mastermind. You are the mastermind, Pisces. You're the best around. Nothing's ever going to keep you down. Keep your focus. Do one thing at a time. Multitasking is good, but it can leave some things undone. You're seeing things clearly now. Seeing things before they happen. History repeats itself. The Garden of Eden. This is about metamorphosis. This is about the chi, the life force, restoring the body back to its natural state by using bells and sound baths. The water is boiling now. It is time to cook. This is about alchemy. The witch's brew, the high priestess and the high priest. Balancing on the water now. Tapping into your gifts and your talents. Black and white, dark and light. This is also about the 369 manifestations. This is about healing teas, drinking them to detox the body, meditating and breathing. Then I was getting people from your past are coming back around to check your temperature, Pisces. You're boiling now, okay? They want to know if you still have feelings for them. They haven't quite changed their perspective of things because they want you to need them. I'm getting like narc energy from that. Maybe there was a financial link in between you and some of your lovers from the past. These lovers are reminiscing about the past. There's a sexual arousal in them. They remember how things used to be. When you talk to these people from your past, you are going to have to be kind, Pisces, but no nonsense. Stern and straight to the point in order to cut through the tension and see the bullshit. Then I also was getting that you're calling in new love. Your other half, yin and yang, different but the same in spirit. Pisces has the ideas and the new lover is the encourager or the cheerleader of the new ideas or whatever ideas you may come up with. It's so significant how spirit works because even with these channel messages, they line all directly up with these chakra wisdom cards. Whenever I pulled um, some cards for you, three came out, okay? The first one that came out was the second chakra, the sacral chakra abundance. I am worthy and I deserve, and I deserve an abundance of anything that I require. I watch my thoughts to ensure that I am honoring and respecting myself. I honor myself by knowing that I am worthy to receive. I am open to receive now. I remind myself that it is a sign of strength to ask for help, okay? Then you have the fifth chakra definitely lining up with what I just said, expressing my feelings. I allow my emotions to be fully experienced. I acknowledge feelings of grief, grief, anger, and fear. And I make a conscious effort to express my emotions or resolve them within myself so that I can move forward freely. I let the unconditional love experienced in my heart be expressed through my voice and my creativity. I let those close to me know how much I care and love, have love for them. I forgive all those who have done me wrong in the past as well as forgiving myself as I could not have responded in a more evolved way than I was able to at that time. Then you have the sixth chakra, the third eye chakra, acknowledge spirit. I trust in a higher source, source and I acknowledge my direct connection with it. 
in the stillness i listen for the wisdom inside and i am open to the spirituality that is within me and all around me i know that love is the creative force i meditate and welcome mythical truths okay mystical truths i am open to seeking guidance in my spiritual quest for a spiritual teacher master or guru okay i'm gonna pull some tarot for you i mean it's lining right up pisces it's for you to tap all the way in line the body up and now that you line the body up it's for you to create that balance Spirit, what other messages do you have for Pisces? Give me some messages for Pisces. The cards are flying out, okay? First, we have the Knight of Pentacles. I feel like this is an offer, Pisces. And I'm getting that it's for, it was from someone from the past. And this offer was moving very slow. This is the Knight of Pentacles. I, I'm getting that this person is realizing now that they could have had something stable with you. But they were moving very slow, okay, at it. Then we have the hermit. This is you going within, Pisces. This is spirit making you go within to line up the body to get to a certain space. Because this is a metamorphosis for you. You're changing. You're changing everything about yourself. You are not the same person anymore, Pisces. Then we got the high priestess right here, just like I said, okay? This is about that alchemy. This is about you being the seer, Pisces. You tapping all the way in. Um, this is about that life force. You knowing how to balance this water now. Then we have the Ace of Swords. That's what I'm talking about. This shit. I'm telling you, you can't make this shit up. This is about that throat chakra. This is about speaking your truth, Pisces. The whole truth and nothing but the truth. So help you God. Okay, that's what I'm hearing. Spirit, give me some more messages for Pisces. Give me some more messages for Pisces, Spirit. Okay, we have the Two of Cups. Yes, this is about this soul tie that you have to these people or this person from the past. Because I'm I'm getting that it may could be a few people that you have a connection with, Pisces. I'm not just getting one. I'm getting that someone else is in love with you and you probably never knew who this person was. I'm also getting that this Two of Cups is pertaining to this new love that you're calling in your other half. It's like by you lining your yourself up and you creating a balance now who whoever that's on that frequency with you is going to be attracted to you pisces spirit give me some more messages for pisces what other messages do you have for pisces spirit okay you have the knight of swords this is about someone wanting to come in to express themselves in some type of way, Pisces. I feel like it's just these people from the past because they want to know how you really feel about them. You've been away from these people for a significant amount of time, so they want to check your temperature now. They want to come in and see what's really happening, all right? Then we have the Six of Swords, but this is about this metamorphosis that you're going through. This is about this transition. You know, it's like you're not taking taking in what you took in before because you have elevated you know from the first step you leveled up you leveled up from that always sinking and you started to rise and when you started to rise you started to create a balance within yourself Pisces okay the world this is the ending of a cycle this is also you having the world in your hands now by creating that balance you have everything that you've ever dreamed of, okay? Because I'm getting that three, uh, three, six, nine manifestation. It's about making things happen at a, a fast or quick or rapid rate because you're in some form of balance. Spirit, give me some more messages for Pisces. What other messages do you have for Pisces, Spirit? Look at him. Look at him. Okay, we got the Knight of Wands. We got this fox. Yes, it's who, whomever's coming in, they still are in the same perspective. They think that they can woo you, Pisces, and that's so crazy that 
this this old person or these old people think that you're the same and it's like you're gonna have to really show these people that you're not that same person that they left off from because there was a leveling up in you and now there's a balance with you so you see straight through them you i mean you see the shit that they're up to and it's like by being stern and speaking your truth you're gonna cut straight through the bullshit okay strength this is about this person trying to gain some type of strength to even come towards you because they have a sense that you have leveled up because you walked away from them they felt like you were not strong enough to leave them behind pisces but you did this is also about your strength about you standing up for what you believe in the truth and nothing but the truth spirit give me a few more messages for pisces what other messages do you have for pisces spirit Okay, cards flying out. That's what I'm talking about. The Hierophant. This is about boundaries. This also is about marriage for me too. This is about whomever this other half or this soulmate that you're calling in, Pisces, because this person is truly your soulmate. They're different, but they're the same in spirit. Um, You've been waiting on this for a significant amount of time. We have the sun here. This is about you, you know, balancing out your body and being able to rise up into that heart chakra and know, really know what love is. I want to know what love is. That's what I'm hearing, okay? You, you're really going to know what love is with this new person that's coming in. Then we have the seven of pentacles right here. To me, I feel like this is you working on this new love, but I'm also getting that the seven of pentacles is pertaining to this old love. This person wants you to work on this with them when they still have not changed, Pisces. We got the four of swords. This is about you getting a lot of rest because spirit wants you to rest because the downloads are going to be coming in like crazy, okay? I'm understanding it myself as a Pisces, Okay, we're tapping into this different type of energy with this full moon in Pisces. It's lining you up. It's lining you up and then it's also balancing you out. And then the balance is going to come through this meditation and learning how to control your breathing and also getting plenty of rest because the body is going through a metamorphosis. Okay, Spirit, give me a few more messages for Pisces. What other messages do you have for Pisces, Spirit? Give me a few more messages for Pisces. Okay. We have the Page of Wands. Yes, this is someone coming in because it's only about... To me, this page of wands is about this sexual energy or this sexual arousal that has jumped up in these people, okay? But we have the hangman here. They don't have a different perspective. You have a different perspective, Pisces, because you you know who you are right now. Don't nobody have to tell you who you are. You know exactly who you are, but this person don't know who you are, you know, because they've been away, but they're thinking that they can use those same tactics, okay? Up under the bottom of the deck, you have the emperor this is about you speaking your truth being very stern okay and whatever it is that you do pisces we have the five of wands this is about empowerment this is about showing your power showing what you're really made of okay then we have the ten of wands this is about you not taking on responsibility for other people that's what you have been doing for the longest taking on other people's responsibility and you t- you forgot about yourself and then we have the ace of wands here this is a spark of life for you this is a new life this ace of wands is bringing in a new life and it's also bringing in this new love it's something that you have been craving for you know you have been asking spirit for and spirit is saying now it's time to go through the full metamorphosis pisces it was you you know putting yourself in this cocoon from the beginning because you had to go within and line the body up and now it's you inside the cocoon balancing out and and you know taking on this life force this chi energy you know like making yourself like a superhero pretty much okay That's the reading. If the reading resonated with you, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.